Hi Peter, Phil Beaver here from the Wilderness Club. Just some recap on our lesson today. So, had a quick look at the swing. Uh, we said you described that your rescue sort of fairway woods were fading and everything else was drawing. Uh, just have a look why. So, takeaway is pretty good. Goes a little bit inside, not too much to worry about. This is where things start to go wrong. If we really focus here on that, that left or right elbow, sorry. It's really starting to sort of spray and it gets you very across the line. We can see your shaft, you know, is pointing at this angle. So what that means for a good player is it means he's got to work extremely hard to reroute the club. So and if you reroute the club, that means you're going to get underneath it, which means you're going to add loft. So that was the sort of shot description we saw. We saw it very high, a bit necky and cutty. Club coming down here is great, but you're working too hard to get it into a good position. So coming into impact, your shoulders are very tilted and your left shoulder was going up. That's why the loft was going up. Okay, So I want to see the, really that at the top of the swing, that right elbow pointing more down to the ground. But worst case, it's allowed to match your spine angle. So if that's your spine angle there, so we can see your elbow doesn't get anywhere near that. But I would like to see it at 90 degrees. If you just look at someone like Serge or uh, Tiger or anyone sort of like that, Jason Day, it always points straight to the floor. And that will just get the club a little bit less laid off, probably down the line, but it means you've got to work less to get the club back on line on the way down. And when you did that, we saw straight away the flight dropped a little bit uh, and you was hitting your little baby drawers again. If we run onto your chipping, so your chip shots, your little bump and runs were good. Get nice and close to it. I think you were a little bit too close. Sort of 20, 30 yarders, let's go normal grip. OK, and then from there, longer swing than you've been using that sort of long, slow swing. I tried to give, give you an example of using the wrong club for the job. So we was down here at one stage where this circle is to this flag here. And I gave you an eight iron, you know, trying to loft it over there onto the green and get it running. It's way too much club for a normal situation. But if you swing it really slow and long, you can lift it just over and it won't have too much energy to go too far forward. So practice with too much bat in the hand. That'd be good. And uh, that will help that. And then these little pitches, okay, if we run through this, if we draw a line straight in line with the ball, okay, you'll see that the backswing's very good to the top here. Okay, if we draw a little line there on the head, but you're going to see the club head works a little bit over the top on the way down. So this club head now is attacking the ball. You're going to see into the ball now to the right of this red line. And that's where you get a few of these sort of hosel jobs now. So you've worked really hard on missing your watering can here, okay? And you're going to see that now. The hand path on the way through is fantastic. Hands are passive. Coming through here, the club face is perfectly neutral. But it was just how the club was delivered to the ball. So the club was just coming a little bit over and across it. And then you're hitting it a little bit out of the hosel now, which is why they're going off to the right. So easy drill. All I did was put a little ball there, a little ball there. And I just gave you the feeling again of trying to start the ball just right and draw it. I always want you to hit little drawers where you're chipping. And once you got the feeling of that, it was easy peasy. So really, really good, Peter. And I look forward to seeing you soon.